Hello everyone. It's a beautiful day. I can't speak too loud because my little nephew is sleeping. And also Kylie told me that I can vlog so I can show him to you. He's perfect. Okay, okay, wait. We're in Colorado. We arrived yesterday and we spent the day with Kylie, Cody and Hudson. We cuddled him, we hugged him. He's just so perfect and I love him so much. And then we had dinner together. Today we're having breakfast all together. And then uh, Brian, Jim and I will go to Brian's dad's house. I have never met him. He lives I'm sorry, like, it's a mess. He lives in a very small town in America and I thought it would be great to vlog, but it would also be like the first time that I meet him and uh, Brian's grandmother. So I'm like, I will be vlogging and like, you know, first impressions. So I don't know how good this vlog will be, but I'm sure it will be good because it's my vlog. And we're spending the night at Brian's grandparents' house. It will be a little, little, little town in the Midwest of America. Pretty cool. Kylie and Cody made breakfast. They made French toast with butter and maple syrup, fruit, and of course American coffee, which is just coffee in America. And then we played a game. I like playing games with Brian's family because they're really into board games. And then of course I cuddled Hudson before leaving. Even just editing this and seeing how he looks at me, I'm like, oh my god, I miss him. I want to hold him so bad right now, but okay, I'm just editing. And then we left. Thank you. It won't last. Oh, yeah. It's 12:15, and we woke up at seven something. It's so early, but I feel like it's it should be three o'clock, and we're going. It's a two-hour drive. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. That place, the diner, is like really out of a movie. Yeah. Well, Taylor's dad owns that diner. Like, oh my god, this is like a movie! I love that place, I need to go to that place. <laughs> this is the Five Air Park. We're here. I'm about to meet our two the Oh, they said. It's beautiful. You see the Miller? Yes, it's big and beautiful. Yeah. When we got there, they gave us a tour of the house. It was very big and it was pretty cool because I saw a picture of the farm where Jim grew up. Pretty cool. We had iced tea, we talked and then we were ready to go out. But first, I asked to go to my room for five minutes to talk to you guys. Guys. We're here, we talked a lot. I have so many things to tell you. First of all, the car ride, it was so interesting because all you could see was land, land, land. You could try and look as far as you could and all you would see was land, fields, fields and fields. We could have kept driving for like seven more hours and all we would have seen would have been land. It's crazy to think about it because when you think about America, I feel like I, I always think about cities. I think about New York, I think about California, all the cities in California, I think about Texas, Chicago, uh, Denver, but you don't think about all the land they have. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm like really, really excited because especially because I had Jim in the car, Brian's dad, and he grew up here in a farm because there are so many little towns and they are like farmer towns. And of course, my mm, anxious was like, oh, so um, do you have hospitals? <laughs> if there's so much land, um, do you have a lot of hospitals? And he was like, yeah, the closest hospital from my town is like a 40 minute drive. And I was like, so that was really, really interesting. I know it's not the real America because there is no real America. Everything is real if it exists, but that's most of America. Ooh, they have so much space. No wonder their houses are so big. And now we came here and even this house is big. I already picked a few differences in the accent. I know it's maybe just a coincidence, but I'm Italian and they don't say Italian, they say Italian. You're Italian, Italian. And also they say Monday, Friday, 
instead of Friday and Monday. I don't know. I don't know if this is just maybe Brian's grandparents or if it's like an accent here because here we're near Kansas. So now we're about to go out to visit the city center. I was like, what's your favorite restaurant here in this town? And they're like, oh, we have one diner. <laughs> interesting, interesting. And then we'll have dinner at 5.30. But I knew that here you have dinner at 5.30, so... <laughs> this is so unique. I feel like not a lot of Italians come here or like even tourists. So I feel like I'm seeing something special. Okay, I don't want him to wait for me for too long. Let's go. Fair enough. Babe, where are we going? <laughs> We're going on a tour of the big city. Do you know this city really well? Mm, I wouldn't say really well, but I might recognize a few things. The town was obviously small. It was very, very neat and tidy and clean. See? And even though they kept saying that it was super small, super small, it actually had like a million churches, like seven, and they had a hardware store, they had a supermarket, they had a post office, they had a cafe, they had a movie theater, and they had a big, big school with a very beautiful baseball field. I, yeah, I guess that's baseball. And I got super excited to see that water tower because it reminds me of the Warner Bros. And this is the hotel. We'll be staying here tonight. Are Just we going to stay here tonight? No. <laughs> this used to be an old hotel that was built in like 1900. Oh, I love the rocking chairs. It seems like a movie or something, huh? Yes. I can totally tell like one big difference is that when you have a small town in Italy like especially if it's you know one of our little paesini like a little little town the houses are usually close together because they're probably from like the 17th century but here they're more spread out because they're a little bit more recent that's one main difference this was built 120 years ago which for American standards is very old it was surprising for me to see that a small town like Flagler has a hotel. The cool thing about this hotel is that it is managed by the people of the town and every family gave, kind of like donated a room and that's why every room is different. I thought it was super cool that every room was different and I was filming everything. This is definitely interesting to see the town's hotel. It's cool that they have a hotel and it's cute and it's also perfect for a horror story. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're back. It's so cool that they even have a school. It's not that small. But it is because <laughs> what makes it seem smaller is if you leave the town, you just go for miles and miles and miles and there's nothing. Both that way and that way. Like we're just in the middle. This is it for miles. Oh yeah, if you think about it, this is crazy. And now it's time to eat. I'll show you what she made. For dinner, grandma made pulled pork sandwiches with grilled buns. Of course, I don't eat meat, but Brian said, quote, those were flame, unquote. And I had the buns with the beans and pickles and the melon it was so good. And the potato salad and the cucumber salad. It was good. It was a good dinner. And then we played again. I told you Brian's family loves to play and I like it too. It was fun. It was a relaxing evening. Okay, I need to vlog this because we're having dessert and I know how much you love American desserts. And this is a zucchini cake. Zucchini. Try it. So Go ahead. one of my students was telling me about this and she was like, it's amazing, you have to try it. And I was like, really zucchini? And I'm about to try it. And this is ice cream. Let's see your first bite. What if she didn't it's like so it? It's so good and it's sweet and it doesn't taste like zucchini. Okay, I wouldn't expect it to. It's like a carrot cake. Right. Mm. <laughs> we had dinner, we played. We woke up really early today, so I'm tired, you can tell. And when I'm tired, it gets harder to speak English, that's normal. So I'm like, I think I'm tired. Tomorrow morning, because the end, because the end, the end doesn't vlog here. Like the, name. <laughs> the end doesn't vlog here and tomorrow we're going to church with them it will be very interesting because it's not a catholic church so i'm like i'll see you i'll see you guys tomorrow i think i need to go to sleep now <laughs> see you tomorrow
Good morning people, it's 7.30 and I'm about to go and have a pre-breakfast and then we're going to church Good morning baby Good morning How did you sleep? Great the pre-breakfast seemed like a normal breakfast to me because we had coffee, we had cereal, we had... They had donuts, but I didn't eat any. I just had melon and then we left. It was a beautiful day and we decided to go to church. I really wanted to go to church because I had only been to a Catholic church and that was a congregational church. Look at that bell tower. And I could see a lot of differences. Congregational church is definitely less formal and there are less rituals. It's not our faith that does it, it's God who does it. We're back and we're about to have a very American breakfast, homemade. What are we having? Do you know? Waffles. Waffles? For the real breakfast, but for me it was a second breakfast, we had blueberry waffles. I had scrambled eggs and a melon and Brian had like a sausage, I think. It was very good, that melon. Go this way. Yeah. We're leaving now, but before we leave, we're going to Brian's grandfather's land to ride ATVs. I don't know if I'll ride an ATV because I don't know how to, but we'll see. This is where he keeps all his toys. His toys. After picking our vehicle, we were ready to go. Babe, can I trust you? Yeah, I'll go slow. I don't feel too safe. Where do you want to go? I want to show them the cat side. It's crazy. Fran is really, really forcing me to try this. I told him I don't want to. I don't feel the need to drive this thing. But I'm forcing her. Your vlog family will love it. Let's go. Just hit the gas. That's all you gotta do. It's this one. Gas brake. You probably won't even have to hit the brake. More. More. Yes. More. 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 I don't like this. I don't like to drive. She's doing good, guys. Go faster. Why do I have to drive? Guys, she started off all worried and now she's confident and she likes it. I'm riding my terrain vehicle and I'm really good at it. After that, we said goodbye and we started driving back to Denver. I have to say that I really enjoyed these two days in a small town in America. Of course, I am a city girl. I feel comfortable in the city, but that was a really, really cool experience and I would go back for sure. We're back. I spent two nice days. Thank you for watching. I know you have a lot of questions and comments, so leave a comment below. It always helps me grow, it gives me feedback, and it's fun because I interact with you guys. So thank you for watching and subscribe the vlog. She's got a vlog? There's a cord right there. Oh, that's a hundred more.